My name is Jesper Storgo. I am head of U13 football at Right Dream Academy in Ghana. I strongly believe that there's a correlation between an academic educated player and a football player. I believe that school can help players to learn uh, football easier and, and quicker. My name is Matthew James Harris. I'm an English teacher at Right to Dream Football Academy. Our kids in general come from backgrounds where creativity is not seen or the creative arts aren't seen as particularly important, even if their parents value education or even if they have access to a good standard education, creative arts are far down the list. So culturally, the kids don't often get the chance to express themselves like this. When they're asked to do it, they find it difficult to do it. So having different new ways of doing that this week has allowed a lot of them to kind of open up and show themselves that they can be creative, they can have new interesting ideas and they can express themselves in different ways. I think first of all, it's, it's always good to have like a break from your normal weekly schedule and the kids enjoy it. Uh, when I ask the kids every, every afternoon what they've been doing, like they, they, they tell it with an, with an enthusiasm and with a, with a joy. I'm going to do my final print on a piece of fabric, okay? Because all of our fabrics are going to be put together and we're going to make them like a nice wall hanging. I think it's the excitement that you see in their faces when they've done something new and they feel like they've done it well or it's been successful or they've enjoyed doing it or, or it's kind of really excited them and they've kind of really got into it and they don't want to stop doing it. Almost every one of the players here, boys or girls, young or young old, have enjoyed it. The mural looks amazing. They'll walk through that space every day and it'd be a daily reminder of this is the kind of thing you could produce one day if you keep practicing. If you, keep, if you gain a passion for art, these are the kind of things you can do. When you walk past the courtyard and all the trophies are there and all the paintings, like you cannot not smile. And that's part of making my, my day better as well. And if I'm happier, I believe that I'm a better coach as well. Everyone's been really impressed by what they've produced. And I think it just shows you what is possible when you kind of dedicate yourselves to doing something. Right, going over the first portrait. 
And we're going to watch for anyone that takes their pen off the paper. The year 10s and 11s weren't in the in the main body of the week this week. And when they did a, a drawing class last night, I came out of a meeting and they were all, they bounced down the steps like five-year-olds, like, come and look at my drawing, come and look at this. And this is 15-year-old footballers, you know, like who want to be professional footballers and they've just done this art class and they were absolutely infused by it. That was very much the same with all the younger kids, but you might expect it more from the younger kids, but from the older boys, it was brilliant to see too. So I think it's that kind of, I'm learning something, I'm doing something that's really enjoyable and I'm happy about it. I think that's the big positive to take away. My name is Abigail and this is the ESS class and we are having a lot of fun here, especially with the printing. I think it's a good experience. We don't have the money for the kind of resources that we use this week, every week. So we have to find ways where we can allow the kids to be creative. Our challenge is not to just go, that was one week, that was fun, because that can happen when you're busy and tired and stuff, but it's to go, right, how are we actually gonna make sure these kids get an opportunity to express themselves in different ways and in new ways? I hope that you take some of the things that we've taught you this week, um, as well as being creative, but we're also going to leave you lots of the equipment so in your spare time, if you want to do anything or use anything, then it would be really good uh, if you can keep it up and bring your creativity and your amazing ideas and exploring different things into all of your other work and into your football, because what makes a great footballer is also be able to think your way around things and do things in a different way that no one would expect. So it's a great skill to have and please keep it up. Yeah. There's definitely pressure in football because they need to, it's part of the development that they need to learn to, do, to perform when they step onto the, to the pitch. Uh, whether it's in the training session or it's in a game or it's when they go on tour on playing tournaments. The opportunity that they have, of course from a younger age, maybe they don't grasp it all, but as, as they get older, they understand that what they're being given here is not normal. We give our kids the opportunity to have fully rounded lives of different interests. And I think that makes you a better human being and a better footballer. And the creative arts is definitely a big part of that. All the small things matter. Of course, if you have, if you don't enjoy your, your day from nine to three, if you're, if you're not happy or if you're unhappy there, it's gonna be difficult to step onto the pitch and just autom automatically feel happy. For them to read, for them to, to do art, for them to, act for them to do anything that expands their horizons is going to make life easier for them later on because it'll make them a more confident more rounded person and wherever they go in the world that's going to help them i think there's a massive difference between if you're happy with your life you're also happy on the pitch and if you're happy you perform better people's well-being is also important and i think a, a life without books and music and poetry and paintings is a very sad one